You either own a gua sha tool or you want to know how to use one the right way. Gua sha has become one of the most popular facial must have for every skincare enthusiast. I'm a face yoga teacher and I cannot tell you how many people I see on daily basis who are following wrong face exercises or face massage techniques or making mistakes using gua shas. Well, gua sha can help you reduce facial puffiness acne scars, soften fine lines and wrinkles, improve blood circulation and sculpt your face. To maintain your facial symmetry as you age, I see some of the most common mistakes that you should avoid when using gua sha. Bonus tip is waiting at the end of this video, so watch this video till the end. Not only the bonus tip, I will also put a few dots across my face, color dots, and then massage it with gua sha so you can see exactly what the right strokes should look like. I'm Parmita Katkar and every week on my channel, I bring to you a self-improvement or beauty or face yoga video so you can look and feel better as you age. Welcome to Blush With Me. If you're a beginner or you have been using gua sha for a while but yet not sure of how to use it correctly to reap its benefits then keep watching and quickly hit that subscribe button before i give you mistake number one that most people make mistake number one massaging in the wrong direction or wrong motion I see people massaging in wrong direction or wrong motion. Firstly, do not hold it perpendicular, straight up against your skin. In my face yoga classes, I try to correct this mistake over and over again because people forget. They forget that this is not a knife. If you have any deep folds on your face, such as nasolabial fold or deep horizontal forehead wrinkles, it is even worse to hold it straight up as if you're cutting into that fold. Even worse, you're deepening it. Hold it at an angle of 10 to 45 degrees, depending on which part of your face you're working on. But never like this. This gives you seamless strokes without any kind of friction or irritation. Most of the time, you pull the tool upward and outward, depending on what kind of gua sha you're using and for what kind of face massage. In my face yoga one-on-one -on -one sessions, I do different kinds of facial massage sessions, such as anti-age massage or lymphatic drainage massage. Both have completely different purposes. Mostly, if you're doing it by yourself, avoid any downward strokes. But if you want to learn how to use different strokes the right way for reducing facial puffiness and draining your toxins out, then definitely consider joining my series of one-on-one -on -one sessions. As a face yoga coach, I believe everyone's face is different. Your skin is different, your aging concerns are also different. Those who understand this want more customized attention with personalized classes. You too can do the same by filling out a form on my website parmitakatkar.com or you can send me an email at info at blushwithme.com and someone from my team will reach back and schedule a complimentary phone call with you. You will get all the answers to your questions. If you need any details, expect it on this phone call. Before you get booked, make sure you also check out my smaller packages that I have linked below for specific face areas and aging concerns such as your forehead, eyes, facial symmetry and lip rejuvenation. I don't want you to be confused about how to hold this. It takes a little bit of practice and then you get used to it and then you can expect clear, better skin, better product absorption, better blood flow. All of this is guaranteed. It is also great for relaxing any kind of facial tension. I'll tell you a little bit more about facial tension in a bit. But for now, here comes mistake number two. Using one hand instead of both your hands while using gua sha. Using gua sha tool with one hand can tug or pull your skin without giving you the benefit of scraping and giving you the deep massage or curb you from making the most out of your self-care session. Make sure you use both your hands, one to hold your skin firmly and the other to hold the stone and stroke your skin without causing any friction, without tugging. This will ensure proper sculpting and ironing out those deep folds and wrinkles. In areas such as your cheeks that can twist and tug easily, this is the most important technique to follow. I don't blame you for this one. For this, I will blame a lot of those videos that are floating all across social media where girls make these quick videos to trending audios, some reliable, 
some definitely not. Especially if you see someone using gua sha with one hand, then it's time for you to stop watching that video. These little guys definitely come with a set of do's and don'ts if you really want to benefit from them. So I think it's a good idea for you to save this video for a reminder when you're going to be using this gua sha, maybe tonight or in your regular skincare routine. Mistake number three is applying too much pressure. In Chinese healing practice, using gua sha is more of a face scraping technique when done by a trained physical therapist. It can actually be a little intense. You will experience redness and even some discomfort, but do not try this by yourself at home. Be gentle with your strokes and use soft pressure. If you have sensitive skin, then you may experience a little bit of redness, which is fine. Just make sure to do it slowly. Don't rush with the strokes. So remember, don't rush with the strokes and do not use too much pressure. The whole idea is for you to feel rejuvenated. Every time I feel there is any kind of facial tension, which happens due to emotional or any kind of physical stress, this can cause your facial muscles to contract. Now, this tool can help loosen up and relax those stiff, contracted muscles. For a lot of people, this stress is very evident if it builds up every day. Slowly, it will first develop as expression wrinkles on your forehead. You may see those vertical 11 wrinkles between your brows or those horizontal wrinkles. And when you don't take care of either of these vertical or horizontal forehead wrinkles by massaging them every day to relax these tight muscles, they slowly become your permanent expression wrinkles. Your permanent expression wrinkles. You heard that. Now you see what I mean by you could be aging faster than you should. I just want you to look at yourself in the mirror and if this is you, And even if you're happy on a relaxed day, if your face looks stressed, especially on your forehead, then please check out my forehead face yoga package. This is a very reasonably priced face exercise and massage package, especially for the upper half of your face. You can perform the exercises as guided by me every day with 90 day access. Make sure to take your before and after pictures and send them to me. I also have a subscription platform and the link looks like this. It's also linked in my description below. I want you to become a member on this platform. Supporting members always get exclusive content and live streams with me. Mistake number four. A lot of people end up overdoing their face massage with gua sha, hoping to reap faster results. This is one of the biggest no-no for me. You only need about three to four minutes of massage on a daily basis. To simplify it, let's say use about 8 to 10 strokes in one area and then move on. Overdoing it will only harm your skin. Join my upcoming Face Fitness Resolution 2023 for live face yoga and face massage classes every Saturday for 8 weeks. Link and special promo code to get $150 off is in the description below. Number five, do not use gua sha on dry face. Make sure to hydrate your skin and use it with a product that gives you some slip and glide to your skin. So your skin is moisturized for the tool to work. Otherwise, you will experience irritation. And guess what does pulling and tugging dry skin do? Wrinkles. 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 You heard that right. In the last point, I mentioned three to four minutes of face massage on a daily basis. Now that is enough, but I typically dedicate eight to 10 minutes of facial massage with my favorite non-greasy dry oil from City Beauty. You have seen this in multiple videos and I do this in combination with multiple gua sha's, different shapes of gua sha's from Jade and Gua. The dry oil that's not greasy makes the glide remain on my face for at least 8 to 10 minutes unlike a moisturizer that absorbs within the first couple of minutes. And then I absolutely love the combination of these jade and gua gua sha's. Every shape serves a different purpose. It fits your facial contours very differently. The set that I own are made of rose quartz. And authentic gua sha will remain cool. And I'm telling you this because there are a lot of porous fake gua sha's that are shaped like gua sha, but the stone is not authentic. The rose quartz or any other stone that you will find on Jade and Gua website is non-porous. So that means that your product, your skincare products get absorbed into your skin 
and not in gua sha. Most importantly, the dirt and bacteria does not get accumulated in your gua sha. It is so much easier to clean when you have real stones. If you are a supporting member on my subscription community, then head there after this video to see some additional tips. Did I not tell you you get exclusive content that you don't get anywhere else? I will also be doing a gua sha related Q&A live on my subscription platform. So join now. If you want to purchase City Beauty Dry Oil or Jade and Gua Gua Shas, they are all linked in the description below. There are also special promo codes where you get special discount just because you belong to Blush With Me family. This is not a sponsored video, but I know those who will watch this video will end up asking me this question in the comments below about what oil did I use? Where can they get this? What is the Gua Sha of my choice? So do go down in the description and read up a little bit and click those links. So I told you about the bonus tip and here it comes. You must use this tool differently with different skincare products. Every product has a different skincare purpose and it also has a different kind of glide. For instance, serums absorb quickly so they do not have much of a glide like a moisturizer. This is the shape that you popularly see but this is not the only shape to use. Use different kinds of tools for different facial contours such as this one, mushroom gua sha for your eye area This one fits better for your neck shape. If you have big cheeks versus if you have smaller skinny face, also consider what is your aging concern. You didn't think about this, right? Like, is your face fat distributing unevenly as you age? So here's the part where I'm going to show you the direction and motion of some of the strokes. Not everything, but this will definitely give you a basic idea of what your strokes should look like. What should be the direction of them? This is for the droopy lip corners. Depending on your face shape, you can use either of these for your cheeks. For nasal labial folds. for sculpting your cheekbones Can you see your facial symmetry on both sides of your face changing? The face massage techniques completely differ depending on some of these factors. That is why customized sessions are extremely helpful. Face yoga, facial exercises, facial massages and tools should all be a part of your skincare routine if you want to look better for your age. Because trust me, you could be making multiple mistakes that can make you age faster and make you look older than you should. All my face yoga services are for those who are looking for non-invasive ways such as Botox and fillers to reduce signs of aging. It is definitely for those who want to look like a better version of themselves and not like the copy-paste clones with duck faces. If you have spent thousands of dollars on your skincare products, then watch these same products give you completely different results when you use it in conjunction with face yoga, face massages with the right facial tools and exercises. 
So are you ready to start an absolutely new non-invasive skincare journey at home? Avoid these mistakes and you will see great results. If you have any questions about this video or if you have any suggestions for any skincare topic, then leave them in the comments below. Once you hit that like button, go check out my other face yoga videos. I have compiled them all in one playlist, face yoga playlist. This playlist is also linked down here and up here. It is more fun to be consistent when you have a friend doing it along with you. So share this video with a friend and take it up as a challenge. I get asked a lot if men can do it too. Absolutely yes, do it with your partner or your friend. Take your before photos and track your photos every month to see your progress. Don't forget to share your experience with me in the comments below. I'm always excited to see you guys next week. I hope you are too. Until we meet again, continue to blush with me. <laughs>